Let's balance the redox reaction for H2O2 plus Fe2 plus. That gives us the Fe3 plus plus H2O. So the first thing we need to do with redox reactions, we need to write the oxidation numbers for each element. I've already done that. If you need help, there's a link at the end of this video to a video on oxidation numbers. Next, we write the half reactions for the species of interest. These are the ones whose oxidation states have changed. That'll look like this. So here we have oxygen goes from negative one to negative two. Usually oxygen is negative two with a few exceptions. Hydrogen peroxide, that's one of the exceptions. Good one to remember. So oxygen is going from a negative one to a negative two. It's being reduced because it's getting smaller. The iron goes from plus two to plus three. So it's being oxidized as this number is becoming larger. So these are the half reactions for this redox reaction of H2O2 plus Fe2 plus. Now we need to balance each half reaction. So let's first balance the atoms and we'll leave the oxygens and hydrogens until last. So up here we have oxygens and hydrogens. Down here we have iron, iron. So everything's balanced. Now we balance oxygen atoms by adding water. After all, this is taking place in water. So it looks like we have two oxygen atoms here and just one here. Let's add an H2O, one water molecule. And we could just write, instead of adding one water molecule, we now have two. Let's just call this 2H2O. That's a little bit neater. Down here, we don't have any oxygens. Now we do hydrogen. We're an acidic medium here, so we're going to have hydrogen ions that we can add. Here I have two hydrogen atoms and two times two, four here. So I'm going to add two hydrogen ions on this side. Down here, no hydrogens. Finally, we're going to balance the charge by adding electrons to both sides. So if I add two electrons here, two minus two plus, and that balances out down here. Looks like if I add just one electron here, we have negative one and three plus. So that gives us two plus, same here. Those are balanced. Now we need to balance the overall equation for charge. So if you think about it here, all of these right here, these are the reactants and these are the products. So these react here to form these. We have two electrons here and just one here. That's not balanced. With redox, we're balancing the atoms and the charge. So here's how we fix that. We could multiply this whole thing here by two. That won't change the ratio. But now we have two electrons in the reactants and then two times the one, two electrons in the products. That balances the overall charge for this redox reaction. Now we're going to add the half reactions together and simplify. So for the reactants, we have these plus two times the Fe2 plus. Those are the reactants. And the products, we have two waters and two times these here. That looks like this. So now we can simplify. In the reactants here, I see I have two electrons and in the products down here. Get rid of those. I have two hydrogen ions. It looks like that's really all we can simplify, those two electrons there. I'll clean this up. We'll have our redox reaction for H2O2 plus Fe2 plus. So this is the balanced redox reaction for hydrogen peroxide in the iron two ion. Redox reactions are difficult to balance, but we can always check our work to know that we've done this correctly. So on this side of the equation, we have two times one plus, we have two plus, two times two is four. So we have six plus over here, two times three plus, that's six plus. So we've done the charge correctly. And if you count all the atoms up, they'll be the same as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced redox reaction for H2O2 plus Fe2 plus. Thanks for watching.